Good morning, we are up and going for the day and today for snack Isabella has a little mandarin and honest kids and honest kids and applesauce. For lunch today she's got part of a Subway sandwich and some veggie sticks. Natalie's providing background noise and then also she's got a thing of fruit and part of a bag of these bunny grams with the Kirkland's juice. So that is lunch for the day. I'm going to finish getting Natalie ready and we're going to head out to take Isabel to school. Natalie had a late start this morning because we had <laughs> such a busy day yesterday. She didn't want to get up. So that's my main goal for today is to get all the kind of pictures up on her room walls, Bella's room walls, and then also the other rooms that got painted like the bathroom and uh, my purse room downstairs, I need to get the furniture actually put back where it needs to go and everything. So that's my goal for today other than waiting on the oven repair guy. Um, and I think that's about it for the day. Yesterday I spent replacing the plate covers on the outlets and the switches, which is not very exciting. It doesn't make for a very exciting YouTube video. So I didn't even vlog yesterday, but that's what I spent most of yesterday doing, replacing all of the switch plates, just neutralizing them out. So Natalie's gonna play on the iPad for a few minutes. She's apparently gonna be wearing the mini ears all day long today. And I got this fun little box in the mail from Butter London, so I'm gonna open up this and see what's inside. I can't wait to try it out, and you'll probably see it on Bags for Bubbles coming up soon. Very cool, this is the Shadow Clutch, and I think it's got a really good variety in it. It's got this awesome feather print on the outside, and then on the inside, it's got some really cool and a really nice variety of neutral tones. I can't wait to try this out. I can already tell that this bottom row is going to be one of my favorites. I already want to start playing around with it. I'll have to do a video for Bags for Bubbles, but it seems like the pigmentation is really good. So I'm really excited to try this. I think this is the first shadow that I've tried from Butter London, so I'm excited to try it out. Look at this exciting surprise. I was just moving the paper around and there's these really cool shadows in there as well. Very cool. I really like this color. That's super unique. So I just Instagrammed out a picture of all these. I'm excited to try these. I may have to play around with these a little bit. So I'm up in Natalie's room. I'm going to start trying to hang the things up on her walls. So this is the thing that I got from Hobby Lobby. I found this in the Christmas section, but it just happens to go perfectly with their room colors. And I got pictures from her last Disney trip and put them on here. Two of them are frozen, but one of them, I just think this is a really cute picture of her. She's standing next to Cinderella down on Disney. But this one's one with Anna, and then this one's one with Elsa. I love her, the look on her face because she's just like, Elsa, keep me. <laughs> She was just smitten the whole time. Like, she just was hugging Elsa the entire time. Every single picture we have of her with Elsa, she's hugging her. So, anyways, um, I'm going to put, I thought that'd be cute to put, you know, recent trip pictures up on here. And that way, this would be one of her decorations. And the other two wall things that I have for Natalie came from Target. This one is a little either picture or bow board. And it has Elsa on it. We'll probably do bows for the time being. And then this one is, of course, just a picture of Anna, Elsa, and Olaf. So I'm thinking about putting Anna and Elsa Olaf right here over her dresser area and then Elsa right here next to her window which is actually like straightforward as you walk in her room. So this would be kind of the first picture that you see. And then her pictures of the different trips and everything over here along there and then if she still wants like decals or whatever we can put them over her bed area and she'll have those. And then for her bed, um, Natalie is about three and a half. She is almost four even though she's about the size of a older two year old. Um, but we are looking at getting her a bigger bed soon. Um, just basically getting the extension. All these cribs that we have are convertible cribs. So just getting the extensions, getting her some new mattresses that'll be double size. And then I can get her a comforter that is frozen because they probably make some sort of crib thing that's frozen. But um, at this point, you know, she's almost four. We might as well just go ahead and get her the bigger bed. I'm not worried about her rolling out of it now. So um, we're getting ready to do that. And then I'll get her a frozen themed bedspread and she'll have all that going on over here. And then this is a light that I've had forever, actually. I think I had this just after college or something like that. I think I got it at Pier 1. I've had it for a really long time. 
but the colors matched with what she was wanting in her room perfectly, so I just went ahead and gave that to her. And then, not to forget, da da da, her little personal snow flurry over here. So I think once we get the things on the walls, and especially if she decides she wants decals over here, I mean, it's really gonna fill up quite quickly. All right, so I got this hung up over in the corner of Natalie's room, and then if she gets like a little bank or something like that, like frozen bank or something like that for Christmas, I'm thinking that can go in that corner. So that's what that looks like. I just tried to center it over this thing. There's your Elsa picture over there in the corner, and there is Elsa and Anna right over here. We just need to get some decorations. You see your pictures? And those are your pictures of you with Elsa and Anna in Florida. Isn't that fun? Do you like it? Yes! Yes! <laughs> it's when you saw Elsa and Anna. In that's Elsa. That's Anna. That's Elsa. Yay! That's you. Isn't that fun? I thought she'd like those. I'm really glad I got that at Hobby Lobby. I just went around and got all the frozen bows I could find. I'm going to hang them up on her little Elsa holder over there. And which reminds me, I'm going to start thinking about our Disney trip, what to wear and everything. The nice thing, if you go multiple times a year, I really don't have to get them any clothing or much clothing because they're pretty set. So, But I'm going to hang these bows up there. I think that would be cute. The one thing I do like about what they've chosen as far as colors is like whenever she gets sick of Frozen, all I have to do is take down the pictures, take down the snowflakes, maybe some decals if we put them up there, maybe change her curtain colors. But this wall color could go with a lot of different things. I can make it neutral and make it like, I don't know, just a flower and girly theme. We could do Rapunzel. We could do, I don't know, a lot of different things with this theme. So I do really like that the colors you know, that the girls chose kind of lend themselves to different room themes. Although looking around, the one thing that you will notice that's missing is I did really like having the girls' names on their walls. So I think I'm going to get a hold of Erin from Cute Kid Creations, which is where I got all that customized room stuff. And I want to see if she can make like a nameplate, like that says Natalie, that would sit actually on the dresser or what she can make. So I do want to check into that. <laughs> Natalie had to go put her Elsa dress on to match her Elsa themed room. <laughs> little dress my sister made her. It's cute. It's yes. got a little cape and everything. Ooh. You like your Elsa sign? We put some of your Elsa bows on there too. I just got the bathroom signs up and I replaced all of these light covers yesterday but I accidentally bought the wrong kind for in here. I bought the kind that has like two ovals instead of like one big rectangle. So I've got to take those back to Home Depot at some point and get the right shape. <laughs> but anyhow, it's getting there. I really like those pictures in this room too. This is the girls' bathroom. So we're having a quick lunch here at home. I just warmed up some pizza that we had left over from Subway and we're going to have this leftovers for lunch. The yummy cheese. <laughs> Natalie's a big fan of the cheese. We got this cheese at Costco and everyone's really been liking it. It's the Saxony Alpine style. And I like it I don't know. Too. It's really good. The way you can know that it's the right one is it has like kind of the brown edge and then the cheese is like a white or a cream color. But it's really, really good. We've been liking that one. And I really like <laughs> yeah. So I've been trying to work a little bit in my purse room, which this is a nice big room. It's probably at least twice the size of the room that I used to have at the old house. So this room has just kind of been, I don't know, held off. But I need my husband to help me move this big stuff, so we're probably trying to move it this weekend. Hi, Natalie. And I just realized that this is broken. <laughs> on the top. This is my purse cabinet, so that's unfortunate. Um, like but it's I taking like shape. It. I still need to get the curtains put up and curtain rod, obviously. And this room is kind of one of the last rooms to get sorted out. Oh. But it should hopefully be a big difference this weekend once I can get the big furniture oh. set and see whether or not my husband can fix this. It's like the whole top has just lifted off. I'm also gonna be working in the laundry room today. Those are the old curtains that still need to get changed out and we're also gonna be changing the light fixture maybe this weekend, but it may be in a couple weekends. Depending on my husband's schedule, I'm also doing laundry right now. But it's just kind of funny that I'm just now working on the laundry room because I was so excited about having a big laundry room. And I was like, it's gonna be one of the first things I work on. And it's one of the last ones. So anyhow, I'm going to work on trying to get all this extra stuff out of here. And like the cat, all these cat cages don't need to be in there. 
I'm going to rearrange all that, clean the floor real good, and then I have a big rug, the one that used to be in the playroom underneath the desk, that I'm going to put down in here. And this room will look a lot different once we get the light fixture changed out, the curtains changed out. And then my husband's going to put shelving all along this side. So we'll have really nice shelving above the washer and dryer in the sink area. So it will be a work in progress. The other nice thing about the purse room is it's got this really nice big closet, which I've got to get this all rearranged as well because we kind of just stowed stuff in there for the painters to paint. But I'm going to get a, like a pretty chandelier thing and it's got built-in shelving on this side and built-in storage on that side. So when you can finally see it <laughs> after the boxes are cleared out, which I'm kind of waiting for the larger furniture to get placed to get all the boxes out, then this closet will be a really nice storage area also. All right, so I at least got the rug out in the middle of the floor and I do like that in there. It's gonna look just, you know, when we get the little added touches like the light and the curtains in there, it's gonna look a lot better. And then I have that laid out to like flatten and I do think I'm gonna get those corner keepers from Amazon. And once we get like a folding, we're gonna plan on doing like a folding table in here and things like that. I think that it's gonna be like a really good space for laundry. So the oven guy just came and it seems like it should be an easy fix. They just have to change out the LCD screen and it should all be working again, hooray. And also a very happy surprise. I happened to look at my Instagram and I realized that it rolled over 2,500 followers on there. And then I'd seen earlier that my YouTube channel went over 25,000 subscribers, which is crazy, absolutely crazy. When I started my channels, I never thought that any of them would hit that number anywhere close to it so thank you for watching and following along because it's been absolutely crazy but wonderful all at the same time but then i realized today's september 25th so i hit 2500 25,000 on the 25th how cool of a coincidence is that it's so fun so i should like go buy a lottery ticket today that has all 25s on it or something i don't know apparently that's my lucky number today so that's awesome and thank you for watching totally awesome yay well today's turning out to be a pretty awesome day i'm being super productive and then it's just a really cool day so I just got this from UPS. The UPS guy just came to the door and brought me a box and this is a welcome gift for being a part of the 2015-2016 Chick-fil-A mom panel. I'm so excited. It should be a lot of fun. They sent us this really cool cup and a really nice bag obviously. And then a really cute cow. <laughs> Your most favorite chicken eater. And then they sent us some goodies down here. Some coupons to try out the new Greek yogurt and also frozen lemonade, which of course is always a favorite. So I'm excited to try those. And then they sent some sunscreen chapstick, which this is obviously gonna be great in Florida. So I'm very excited and thank you to Chick-fil-A. I'm excited to be a part of the 2015-2016 mom panel. Natalie's already over here trying to claim the cow. <laughs> So we're gonna head out here in a minute and go get Sissy from school. I need the cow. You need the cow? Yes. We'll see what we can work out here. There's only one cow, so we'll see. You can borrow it, okay? Here, this is for Sissy, this is for me. Okay, thank you. I'll share with Sissy. Are you trading me your sister's Woody for the cow? <laughs> we're back home, Isabella's home from school. She's wearing the ears because they were on the table. She didn't wear those at school. <laughs> We're going to veg out, watch some TV, have a snack, and it'll be dinner time in a little bit. Bella's starving after I picked her up, so she's having a snack after the snack that I gave her when I picked her up in the car. So the screen doesn't work still, but we are trying out the oven. The oven guy said that this part should still work, just to be careful because obviously we can't see what number or anything that it's on. So we're giving it a go tonight, so we're having chicken nuggets and mac and cheese. I already made the Annie's bunny pasta, so we're gonna have chicken nuggets, mac and cheese. Dinosaurs for dinner tonight. I'm waiting on the shrimp to be done in just a minute. We got the kitchen counters cleaned off for the night. And we're gonna go see if we can find a family movie to perhaps watch from the on demand. So we're gonna go check and see what's on there. <laughs> 